Folks, we're back at the grounds of uh, Folks, we're back at the grounds of uh, Umbra House Day 2 Folks, we're back at the... Beautiful day, folks, and I'm back at Cumber House. And uh, yes, I've done a lot of videos on this place. I actually love this place. But what I'm going to do today, seeing as I was passing the area, I'm going to have a look around and possibly look at areas that I haven't seen before around the grounds. So that's what I'm going to do now. You would have seen this in another in another one of my videos uh, during the floods. This massive tree just missed that uh, bridge by a couple of feet and taken up all that soil and that, you know. Um, and that happened at the end of uh, last summer. But. Uh, Along this area, along this area is a kind of a, a riverside walk, you know. So uh, we have been on some of it, but uh, not all of it, I, I think. So uh, we're going to have a look around it now. And the original house had a walled garden, and it's a playground. I'm going to show you that briefly as well. This is a uh, house, this house, uh, Cumber House, is a house that uh, have many uh, paranormal investigators and paranormal groups have uh, carried out investigations there. And one of the reasons for that is it's almost, it's almost 100% guaranteed that, that um, you would pick up paranormal evidence in it. So. Uh, it's good for testing machines and it's good for training uh, paranormal investigators. Um, and a couple of months ago, um, I was on a paranormal investigation. Well, I was kind of a bystander, so uh, um, I got to film some of the action. Um, if you haven't seen those videos, go and have a look. Um, it's got uh, paranormal. Uh, Carrick Fergus Paranormal Researchers and Peninsula uh, Paranormal Group, possibly RIP, is in the title as well. Or RIP Ireland is in the title as well. Um, I just happened to be in the spot where some of the evidence was picked up. Um, I was especially fascinated by the uh, uh, Microsoft Kinect camera. And the evidence was picked that was picked up there. So uh, from that night onwards, you could say it changed my life because you know 
I'm becoming a paranormal investigator now myself. Do you know? Oh, look at these blue bells. Don't know what that is about and I take it there was a sign on that pole that explained all this but uh, it's a mystery folks don't know what it is and then we have two of these logs with little uh, they're actually concrete these with these little pools Somebody must have thought it was a wishing well and they put some money in it. We're still at this, the riverside, folks. Um, yeah, there was a turn off to the right up there where I'd gone the last time. So, I've gone straight on this time and uh, I've never been in this area before. And I don't know where it's going to take me. And I don't know if I'm fit to go that far, but we're going to try anyway, you know. Some little art installations here. I'm trying to put my camera as low as possible so you can see it. Little information plaques on the different plants in the area There isn't a single person here. I haven't met one person so far, like. We've got some seating over here. Um, every so often there is a bit of seating. Um, the walkway is, is uh, it seems to be flat enough. Uh, the only area that isn't flat is the area up to the house. But um, it's been a flat enough journey but it's been long. It's long for me, you know. We've got some uh, oh, information. Cloudy Country Park. Cumber House, I remember the name this time, Cumber House and its grounds was bought by the GAA in the 70s for something in the region of 10,000 quid and that included a lot of land. Some of the land is used for this park 
other parts of the land is used for the GA grounds itself. And then the house is um, used for community groups and uh, things like that. The house does not have a lot of its original features left, but and there's no bedrooms and it's not laid out like a house anymore because it's it's laid out for functions and things. So uh, you know the community are making use of it. Um, the paranormal community is also making use of it, uh, which is good, you know. But uh, here is another seat, which is always good to see. Um, you come to uh, some parks and there's no seats, and you can't take a rest. Uh, every so often, too, you get these uh, little. Uh, God, there's feasting. Every so often you'll get some information on some animals that are here. Actually, we're heading very close. We're heading very close to town now, folks. Um, we're heading towards a bridge that, um, in one of my previous videos, um, is at the end of town. And during the bad flood at the end of uh, the summer of 2017, um, that really old bridge got half destroyed in the flood and it, it, uh, the flow of water was so uh, was so strong that it, it, uh, it tore apart the bridge. That bridge has been closed since and uh, work has been carried out on it and a temporary, pe uh, temporary pedestrian bridge was put in its place. Uh, until the um, until the uh, the bridge is repaired. More information on animals there. Uh, bats are a, a European protected species, as they are an endangered spe species. They are nocturnal nocturnal mammals living in woodlands and eat three thousand insects. Nice. When you're down this close, you can get a beautiful smell of the flowers. Those uh, those steps are my way back, and I think there's the original gate uh, or the back gate of the gatehouse is there. Yeah, it's very difficult to see from here, but they actually, since the last time I've seen it, they have actually knocked the. Uh, damaged part of the bridge uh, down altogether. There is the uh, damage to the bridge and I was talking to one of the workmen there and they said they are actually going to put that bridge back together exactly how it was which is going to be a very big task. Uh, water has to be diverted and drained while uh, the work is carried out. So uh, those steel uh, girders are, are there diverting the water and uh, that area where the uh, digger is is a dry area uh, used for when uh, they're going to carry out the work and stuff, you know. And uh, I was told it's going to be uh, extended by three metres, you know. So um, that's going to be a hard job. The builder, one of the builders there, uh, was telling me uh, about what they're doing to the bridge and that. And he went off and he says I could come up and, and photograph and I says I'm, I'm okay where I am, you know. I don't want to be climbing over fences and stuff. But uh, 
he came back and he says, did you do a film on this uh, bridge before? And I says, yeah. Oh, he says, I've seen that. And uh, uh, I've seen your, he's seen your video. So a big shout out to the, uh, to the, the, the workman who's working on the bridge there. You know, don't know what your name is. I forgot to ask. I'm really sorry. But it's amazing this this thing happens on YouTube. You know, you don't get that on any other platform, like you know. Up the steps. Hopefully, there's not too many. But uh, that's amazing. When you start doing a lot of videos in a lot of places. You know, and you name the towns, and you name the places. People from them places will recognize you, you know. It's happened a couple of times to me. So I think that is the back gate to the back of Cumber House itself. It's another one of these information poles. These are important pollinators for flowers, trees, fruits and vegetables. Another information poll here. Uh, squirrels. Red squirrels have declined rapidly due to grey squirrels, which eat food before it's ripe. Reproduce quickly, have high birth rates and carry a squirrel pox that kills red squirrels. We're back uh, towards the house again on the upper end. It's like steps. I started off at the lower end where the uh, river is and uh, came up to the top end. There is actually a third level which has the football field and the um, walled garden which was turned into a playground which I'm going to show you now. This is the uh, the walled garden of uh, the house, so uh, which is turned into a playground. Here's a little uh, wooden train. Where you have a wee place for the driver, and then you have places for passengers, and you can pretend to be driving the train. Folks, that's all I have for you today. Uh, hope you enjoyed the walk around the uh, the uh, public park uh, belong to Cumber House. I will see you in the next video, folks. And as always, be good to each other and enjoy the photographs. I'll see you next time, folks.